Cheez-Its and scrolling on Reddit Reading Trump's tweets and McDonald's McNuggets Tearing the film off a new iPhone screen These are a few of my favorite things But when the day's long and I need sleep But the pillow's warm I simply flip over to the other side and then I don't feel so warm, warm. I just rhymed warm with warm. Anyway, that song sucked. Welcome, my young pupils, to yet another video in this uh, 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 this wild adventure of life we are on. It's been a little while, but I have an idea that will change everything. I want you to take a look at this man. Now I want you to take a real close look at this man. You may not recognize him, but you should. Because this man, that man is you. That man, that's the face of a defeated man. One of the worst feelings on God's green earth is when you go to bed after a long day, working hard in the mines, and the pillow is just so warm and just sticks to your face, and you have to flip it over to the cool side every 30, why does my computer do this? And you have to flip it over like every 30 seconds. But what if, <laughs> what if, my child, there was a way to make every side of the pillow the cool side? I'm truly doing God's work. What if, through a series of pumps of cooled, cooled water and pill, dang it, you, and pillow, we could achieve true happiness. It's a big dream. But I'm the, I'm the big man to dream it. <laughs> Everyone knows the problem that I'm talking about. If you don't, that means you either sleep on a rock or you're a cold-blooded lizard person. Or maybe both. Hey, no judgment here. Simply put, the pillow gets too warm throughout the night, meaning that every once in a while you have to flip it over to the cool side of the pillow, which feels so good it is cooler than Snoop Dogg in a blizzard. Anyways, so my solution, because that feeling is very fleeting, is to create a pillow that stays cool throughout the entire night with the use of a canister or a box of some kind that holds chilled water, either with ice or dry ice, that uses a series of tubes to pump cold water throughout the pillow throughout the night. And it recirculates always keeping the water cool, keeping the pillow cool, and keeping you oh so very cool. So that's the idea, but we have to put it into practice. All right, so I have the idea for the pillow in my head. I have the, the design for it, at least the basic version, but I don't know exactly what I need. So I'm heading to Walmart to look around and, and just get whatever. Because if there's one thing I learned from childhood commercials, it's uh, buy first, ask questions later. So we're gonna use that mentality and uh, we'll, we'll see what I end up getting. Maybe we'll get some new inspiration or something. I went through all of Walmart and I got only a few things. Uh, I got a Tupperware container. It's, it's in the back that will hold the water to be cycled through. I also got some tubing. But as far as the pump goes, I was looking for like a syringe or something watertight that could... I don't, I don't really know how I'm going to make the pump for it yet. But I, I have some PVC pipe at home. So we'll see if I can make something out of that. Crap, someone took my parking spot. So I got a few basic things from Walmart, but the main thing I needed to create was the pump, how the water is going to circulate throughout the pillow. So I needed a base, which I used part of a pencil, which is going to hold onto a motor and also hold these little fan blades that will spin and hopefully make the water pump through the tubes. So I have this simple DC motor that I have from an Arduino kit, and I fit the little pencil thing inside it. Now for the blades of this pump fan, a uh, simple plastic from a soda bottle will do, but I have to attach it somehow to the pencil. Now I used hot glue, which in hindsight is not a very good idea because water and hot glue uh, don't mix very well together. Hot glue doesn't stick when it's underwater. But another important thing to note is that the blades have to be put at a slight angle so that the blades can sort of scoop up the water as it pumps through, as you see there. So now that everything fits, all we have to do is make a casing for it. This cute little plastic box serves perfectly, and while I try not to stab myself in the hand with a, a, a razor blade, I'm making these little holes which is theoretically where the water will pump in and out of. So now that I've created the whole thing, let's see if it works. 
Wow. Okay, so uh, the motor prototype is done, and I'm about ready to start the first time testing this thing, although it'll probably go very badly. So the idea is that this is, won't be the final product. I'm just testing it out in this Sprite bottle, not sponsored. Although you can sponsor me Sprite anytime. Uh, hopefully the water will be pulled through this little tube right here into the pump, which if you look closely, you realize that that uh, little turbine is spinning not very fast. And I realized this after I'd constructed, wired, and coded the whole thing, that it only runs at a max of like 15 rotations per second. So this is the fastest it'll go, which I don't think is fast enough to pump water into this tube, which will bring it back up into the Sprite bottle. Uh, so we're gonna test this for the first time on a hope and a prayer. And if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna, uh, let's quit engineering and go with my second desire in life is to be a dancer. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the water in. Also, there's water next to electronics, also my computer. So if I die, and this is my last will and testament, then uh, Drew, you don't get any of my stuff. Okay. Oh! Oh my gosh, I think it's getting water everywhere. Okay, never mind. Whoa, abort! Abort! Okay. Oh, it's getting close to the laptop. Okay. Whoa, oh, the mouse. Oh, okay. Whew, all right, I'll just get all that. Okay, so I may have panicked a little bit just then and almost destroyed my laptop. Uh, so I've now moved the entire operation down to the floor instead of around a whole bunch of electronics, which is like, you know, duh, whatever. And I've I've used hot glue to seal up everything. There is still a little bit of leakage, but uh, honestly, that doesn't matter because my, my worst fears come to pass. So the uh, water goes through the tube into the little thing but the turbine just is not fast enough. You can see, where's the, there we go, the little, that, that's where the water is in the tube right now. Uh, it is just not putting any power behind that to get the water to move up. And I've been sitting for about five minutes and it's not changing. Uh, so I have one idea to make this work. And if this doesn't work, then I don't know what will. So here, here's to hoping. And this is my idea. Ah, uh, whoa! It's a few weeks later. Aren't jump cuts just the best? Anyways, I had a haircut, I have some facial hair, and I still don't have a girlfriend. All the leaves are brown, leaves are brown. And I couldn't get the pump to work, so my plan B was to just buy one online. Alright, I don't need that judgment I see in your eyes right now, okay? I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to reap, reap the, the souls, souls of the, the damned. damned. So at first the idea was to have tubing run throughout the entire pillow, but in practice that doesn't really work to keep it cool. So instead I wanted to use my tried and true friend hot glue to attach tubes to uh, a few Ziploc bags, which will fill with water and because there's more surface area it'll keep more of the pillow cool. So again, theoretically, the hot glue should kind of melt the plastic with the glue to create an airtight seal, but I'm not sure if it'll work, so let's find out. <sighs> Okay, so here we have the prototype that is completed, but there is a very big problem, which you might notice. There's water spilling everywhere. I have put like five different layers of hot glue between the bags and the hoses, but it seems that no amount of hot glue or unicorn duct tape will keep this thing water tight. There's a few problems with that. One, I think the plastic warps or melts a little bit with, oh, uh, it's starting to leak on the carpet now. It's just water. Um, I don't think hot glue is airtight enough. I think the water still slips through the gaps between the plastic and hot glue. And also, there's four different exit and entry points, which means that there's more points that the water can slip through the cracks. So I need to find a way to make this thing watertight for it to work. But I have an idea. So ladies, gentlemen, and bureaucrats, I present to you the cool Pillow, the always cool, I, sh I still should come up with a name for it. 
Basically, the idea is the same. Cool water is pumped into the pillow through a tube, but I used milk caps, which are designed to be screwed on and be watertight anyways, to keep it airtight on the Ziploc bag. And I used one big gallon bag instead of several ones. And it actually works. It stays watertight and it works perfectly. Hey guys, it's your uh, uh, friendly neighborhood serial killer here. I was just editing the video. It's also nighttime and I, my roommates are sleeping, so shh. And I realized I never talked about how it actually works as a pillow. So I've been sleeping on it for the last few nights and uh, one, it stays cool, so <laughs> mission accomplished. Uh, it's kind of weird your head to get used to just resting on the, the, the part of the pillow that has the bag in it. It feels kind of weird. And also there's the sound of the pump that goes throughout the night. So if you can handle that, then, it, then you can handle anything. Uh, no, it actually, surprisingly, keeps cool throughout the night and it is comfortable once you get used to it. But uh, it's 2 in the morning, I really need to finish editing this video, so, um... I would just like to take this moment to thank you, personally, for, for taking the time to watch this video, which means, one, there's probably something, like, really wrong with you. Uh, but also, I just wanted to note that I hate it when YouTubers end their videos by suggesting that people like the video or subscribe. So I'm not gonna do that, because I'm above that. Um, uh...